This short video is going to show you how to easily send a single text message. Once logged in and from the home screen, click send, send text message. On the left hand side, select who we're looking to send the message to. And on the right hand side, this is where we now start to prep the message. The first consideration is, are we looking to send this on a one way basis? using what's called the send a name feature. Simply put, this is how the message will appear on that person's handset. So in this example, if I was to send this text on that person's handset, it would be displayed as coming from text local. This will normally pull from the default that you set at the time of sign up. It can easily be changed just by clicking on the drop down, add in sender, and typing in there what you would like up to 11 characters. This is called a one-way communication tool on the basis that if you're sending a text from a name, a name as a recognized destination doesn't exist. So if somebody tries to respond to text local, that person's handset will always reject that message back. So if we profile the content that's normally sent using a sender name, it would normally be of an alert reminder or an update basis. In scenarios where you would like traditional two-way communication, it's not a problem. Just switch from send a name to the simple reply service. This basically uses a virtual mobile number that allows typical two-way communication. We're now ready to prep the message content and simply in here now we would type hello. In the bottom right corner we've got an option to insert merge fields. So if we click that we see the options where we can now select first name and that will do a hashtag lookup under how you've populated that data field when creating the contact group. The benefit of doing this is it just allows you to send a mass broadcast but when it's received by the individual it's as if you have just sent it to that person. You then continue with the content dropping in additional personalization where appropriate now we can't receive a reply to this message so it may also be advisable to include a call to action such as a contact number. A standard text message is 160 in length so as you can see here we've used 62 characters. If we do exceed 160 be mindful it sends it as one message but would charge it by however many credits that works back to in 160 in length we have the option to include an opt-out, it's just a tick on or tick off as you can see and this just means ultimately if people that are receiving this message no longer want to receive communications from us in the future they can just text Andy stop to 60777 and be removed from the database. Once you're happy click send message, we'll always get a confirmation of who that's going from to uh, and how many credits that's going to cost us and when we're happy we just push that text out. 